Well, this afternoon we are honoring a culinary icon and really this story might surprise many of you out there. James Hemings was Thomas Jefferson's slave valet trained as a French chef. He fused French and Virginia cuisine to perfection, introducing many foods we still enjoy today, like creme brulee, whipped cream, along with mac and cheese. And now he's being honored here in Hampton Road. So here with more is Deborah Friedman, managing editor of Southern Grit. And we also have chef David Hanna, co-owner of Stoli's in Virginia Beach. Man, the story is uh, is blowing my mind here. Yeah. And we were just talking about it. So, so first, uh, how did you all document, how did you find Deborah? how that he was connected to these uh, foods that we enjoy today. Right, uh, a lot of the credit goes to Monticello, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, they've been doing a lot of research on the Hemings family, obviously mm -hmm. with Sally Hemings sure. being the most famous. And so essentially they've they've been able to document in his own hand a list of uh, recipes. They've been able to document a list of kitchen utensils that he's used. And so, and those are actually in the Library of Congress today. Yeah, blowing my, this guy, macaroni and cheese, a, a exactly. staple in so many homes and, and we now know a slave. Uh, created that dish. Exactly. So, uh, you know, you guys are calling, a, you have a series coming up here, you call it Stir in the Pot. Right? Exactly. What do you guys call it that? Yeah, so Stir in the Pot, so essentially we're really going beneath the surface. Mm -hmm. We're starting to dig into what's the real history, what's really going on, and so this is the perfect one to get kick it off because you never think about where these things come from. Whipped cream, you have that on your ice cream, yeah. you have creme brulee for dessert. Never like think you about said, it. mac and cheese. Yeah. They, they come from somewhere, and so this is really a great place to highlight him because he's a son of Virginia and you know really his his legacy has created culinary traditions in America that live on. It. Yeah, exactly. know about it. So you have an event coming up on October 8th mm -hmm. uh, in which uh, Chef Hannah is, is going to be talking about. So tell us about the event and we'll ask about the dish you're going to be cooking for it. Sure. So we have six chefs of color coming together to, tr to pay tribute to Hemings. And so four of them are right here from Hampton Roads. Um, we also have the head of the James Hemings Foundation, Ash Bell McLeaven. He's actually going to be on hand to talk about Hemings' legacy and what he left behind. So it's going to be an event fil filled with food and and education as well. And as you look at the information there on your screens, uh, Chef Hannah, tell us a little bit about the dish you're going to be creating there. Uh, so the dish I'm creating mm -hmm. is called beef a la mode. Mm -hmm. It's basically a roasted pot roast with uh, roasted vegetables and a red wine sauce. So I'm doing my own twist on it as a good tribute to it. Oh man, that's good. That sounds delicious already. And we were just talking a moment ago, quickly here. You said you learned all of this about James Hemings uh, just in the past couple of months as well. And you're a chef, so this is a story that really needs to be told, right? Yeah, it was. It meant a lot to me to mm -hmm. learn all these things because you hear the stories, but once you hear like kind of true where they came from, it's kind of mm -hmm. like confirmed. Like, oh wow, like this stuff really did come from yeah. like, a black man. So yeah. to me in the area cooking this way, and yeah. it makes me feel a lot great knowing that like I'm paying tribute to like such a great legacy. Does add a little something to it, doesn't yeah. it? Deborah, Chef uh, Hannah, thank you all so much. So the event is. Called Stirring the Pot, October 8th, 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. And you can get all the information on how much it's going to cost on our website, 13newsnow.com.